This is how we do it with me just standing alone here? No, Okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'll do stand up. Let's do it. <laughs> Good, how are you? Kristen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, happy to be here. What time is your show? Do you have two shows tonight? I have two shows tonight. What time? Uh, 8 and 10 15. Oh, my. Yeah. Hey. Tomorrow at 7 and 9.30. Tomorrow as well? And you were last night too? Yep. Damn. Yeah, I got a lot of work cut out for me. Yeah. All right. So we've probably got about two and a half, maybe three minutes to it's, chat. That's cool. Yes, ma'am. Come on, man. What the fuck? <laughs> yes, thank you. Do I get a block to stand on? Do you want one? <laughs> I can get you a block. <laughs> I mean, I'd like really to be towering one. over you if I could. <laughs> And I have big girl shoes on today, too. It's not I'm often. not the tallest guy, so when I have so a size advantage, right? I like to seize on it. <laughs> well, here. So now that's just what I'm talking about, all right? No, see, all natural. I want you to feel as comfortable as you can. Well, I, I need a height advantage to be comfortable. <laughs> I don't think you do. If you were a taller woman, I wouldn't do this interview. You'd be out. Yeah. You'd walk in. I'd walk. Walk out. You guys would be talking to my manager right now. <laughs> well, we were supposed to have Adam here today, but yeah. he felt too But short. I was too tall. <laughs> Step forward just a little bit so you can get a, a great And he started good. crying. <laughs> so don't go see his show. Yeah, because he's an Cause idiot. It'll be, it'll be stupid and boring. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> One of 25 comics to watch. Yeah. That's cool. That is a nice, nice little accolade. Very cool. How long have you guys, is this an hour show or a half hour show? Hour. hour. Okay. But then it goes right into our 5, which goes right into our 5.30, which goes right into our 6. So. Just perpetual news. Yes. A lot of the same over 20. and over again. I just met him. Paul Cameron. Uh -huh. Paul Cameron. He's been here for like 35 years or something like that. That's great. Mm -hmm. Yep. 12, 11, 10. Here we go. 9. Where should eight, I look? Me. Okay, seven, cool. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. He is an actor, a comedian, and tonight you can hang out with him here in Charlotte and just listen to him be funny. We're talking about Adam Caton Holland, who Esquire named one of 25 comics to watch, and he is here with us live in studio. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me at the studio. I don't mean to put the pressure on you. And sure. People can come tonight and just watch They can come just watch me be funny, or they can come and just watch me be sad. It's whatever mood <laughs> strikes me at the moment. Let's hope for funny. Yeah, I'm hoping for funny. You never know. You're we'll gonna see. Be, you're going to be at the Comedy Zone tonight. So you do stand up, but you're also a writer, right? I am, and I'm also an actor. Which came first of the three? Oh, good question. I wrote a bunch growing up and wrote newspaper stuff. So I guess writer first, okay. uh, then stand up, then actor. And now it's all at the same time. Now it's all at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Which, do you have one that you favor? I like the immediacy of stand up. Yeah. You, you write something, you hand it off, and you never see people's reactions. Stand up, you know it right then and there. So if people knew you from your writing, how similar to what you were writing and how, what do you do write is your stand up routine? It's pretty similar. Yeah. It's pretty cynical and it's uh, pretty dark sometimes, okay. but in a funny way. So I think, uh, I think they're similar. Yeah, what kind of stuff do you talk about? On stage, I talk about all sorts of stuff. I talk about uh, my nephew, who's hilarious. He's hilarious? Yeah, he came up to me the other day, and he's like, hey, Uncle Adam, do you know what time it is? I was like, no, what time is it? And he's like, oh, it's punching butts time. And then he proceeded <laughs> to just punch everybody's butt in he the did. room, rock em, sock em, robot style. And I was like, yeah, my nephew's a genius. Tell me he's not like 19. Tell me he's like. He's 31 years old. He's. <laughs> Uh, he's not doing very well. well. He's been living in my mom's basement for a while. But, but that is kind of funny. He's got a new trick. He's got a new trick and <laughs> pun punching butts. Something. Yeah, so we're um, all hoping for him. Did I hear you performed last night? Did I hear you performed at the same time Kesha did? Yes, same I did. Kesha? I did. It was amazing. <laughs> is you, not at, like in the same room they weren't. But no, is, they wouldn't allow it. I asked your, her management. <laughs> was your audience similar to Kesha's audience? No. In fact, my audience walked out and were just like bombarded with Kesha's audience, which was just this glitter parade of tweens <laughs> that was hilarious. And that's not who's at the comedy? I mean, I keep trying to make that my like target audience, but they never come. So <laughs> I want that Kesha money. I'm not stupid. <laughs> those, those kids have money to spend. Well, if you have glitter on or if you're a grown person who just dresses like a normal person, you can go see Adam, Kate, and Holland But tonight. preferably glitter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You can see him at the Comedy Zone at the NC Music Factory in Charlotte. A couple tickets still left. People yeah, there's a few tickets still left. Please uh, please come on out, you guys. All right. Thanks for coming in. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. All right, Jamie. It's going to be a lot of fun. Kristen, thank you. A lot of news we haven't it's gotten really good. to. Yeah, cool. Thank Thanks so much.
Austin teenager from Rowan County. It's not all signed. Uh, I'll go back up to where you came from and I'll have him take your mic. Oh, okay, no sweat. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you having me on.